Hi, hi, welcome to Kareo. So in this episode of the Lead Code series, we are going to solve the question of Valid Boomerang. It's a very simple question and as usual, we'll start with reading the question, trying to find a logic by solving some examples and then let's get to the coding part. So let's get started reading this question. So given an array of points where points of y is represented by xi and comma yi, okay? So an x coordinate and an y coordinate in the xy plane, a point essentially is given to us in the form of an array okay so as it is an array consisting of an array it's a matrix and each row depicts a point here okay and the plane returns true if these points are a boomerang so if the collection of points that is given to us that is we are given three points and if these three points form a boomerang in that case we would have to return true if they do not form a boomerang you would have to return false okay so boomerang is a set of three points that are all distinct and not in a straight line okay so this is the definition of a boomerang and this is what we would have to check whether the given points that are given to us in the form of an array satisfies this condition it's a very simple condition okay so what we have to do we have to check whether the given points are in a straight line or not okay so let's say this is the boomerang and a b c be the points in a boomerang so we have to check whether these three points form a boomerang okay so in order to check this what is the condition that you have to check whether a b c are in a straight line if they are in a straight line then b b b no they do, they do not form a boomerang if they are not in a straight line then they form a boomerang so how to check whether three random points in xy plane is in a straight line or not in order to check that we have a mathematical concept called collinearity so how to check whether three points are collinear or not okay that is what we have here let's take this straight line okay a b c this is being represented as a straight line so this straight line if the slope of AB is equal to the slope of BC. In that case, we say that all these elements A, B and C are in a straight line. But what do we need? We do not want them to be in a straight line. In that case, just put a cross over here. It should not be equal. So, slope of AB should not be equal to slope of BC. Okay, that's like a simple formula. But how do we find slope? So, in order to find slope, it's a very simple formula, which is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And we want it to be not equal to, right, not equal to bc, slope of bc. Again, y3 minus y2 divided by x3 minus x2. So, it's just very simple. The difference in y coordinate of these two points divided by the difference in x coordinate of these two points, right. So that is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and similarly y3 minus y2 divided by x3 mi uh, minus x2. So difference in y coordinate divided by difference in x coordinate. Same applies here. Okay. So let's just give names to these. So difference in y coordinate for first is dy1 and difference in x is dx1 and similarly dy2 and dx2. Okay. And let's just rearrange this a bit. Okay. Let us bring this dx2 here and dx1 here. So, just to make this all into a single line. So, dy1 into dx2 not equal to dx1 into dy2. If this condition is satisfied with this formula by the three points a, b and c, then those three points are said to be forming a boomerang. If not, then they do not form boomerang. So, a very simple approach, just find dx1, dx2, dy1 and dy2, okay. So, find all these four values, which is just y2 minus 1, x2 minus 1, in difference of those values and then apply it in this condition. If this condition is true, then return true. If this condition is false, then just return false, as simple as that. And that is given here as the algorithm. It is a very simple algorithm, okay. So, now let's get started. Let's have these values as a reference. First, let's start with finding the value of dx1 and dx2. What is the value of dx1? x2 minus x1, right? 
So, since the values are given to us as a matrix, let me just show you here a matrix in which the value of A, B, C is marked with X, Y uh, values of each point. Okay. So, what is the point of A and how is it represented in an array? Okay. And what is the point of B and with what index values, what row and what column can I access those values? That will be represented here as a matrix. You can verify that and find this value. Okay. So, let us get started. So, starting with it, let us find dx1. So, what is dx1? dx1 is x2 minus x1. So, what is x2? The x coordinate of second point. But as we know, an array starts from 0th index. So, second point is 0, 1. So, first index is storing the second point. So, hence, points of first index, which means second point and 0 stores the x value and 1 stores the y value. Okay. So, point of 1, 0 minus points of 0, 0. So, this is the difference between x values x2 minus x1. Okay. So, int dx2 is equal to similarly we start with the second value. So, 0, minus points of 1 of 0 because the third point is represented by the second index and 0 represents x value and here 0 represents the second value and 1 represents the second point. So, x3 minus x2 that is what it means. Similarly, dy1 is equal to points of let us start with 1 of 1. So, it means second point y value which is y2, y2 minus y1, okay, this is y1, so y2 minus y1 and similarly dy2 is equal to points of 2, 1 minus points of 2, 0, okay. So, we have found all the four values that we need. What do we do next? We check that condition. What is that condition? dx1 into dy2 not equal to dx2 into dy1. So, if this condition is true, then it is a boomerang. So, we return true. If this condition is false, we return false. So, we return whatever this statement evaluates to and this is our program. As simple as that and as easy as that. So, we just have to know what is collinearity and that in order to find the value of a straight line, whether the given uh, points are in a straight line, we have to use the formula or condition for collinearity. And what is the formula? Slope are equal. So, we want them not to be equal. So, similarly, we have found the respective values and applied it here as simple as that. So, now let us run this code and verify whether this works perfectly. Uh, there exists some error here. What error did I make? Yeah, it should be 1 here, right? We are taking the values of y. So, it must be 1 and I have written 0 which means it is x value. I think it should be working fine now. Still returning. So, this is y2 minus y1 and this is y3 minus y2. <laughs> it works fine now. So, I just uh, instead of 1 here, I have written 2. Let us submit this code and verify. Yeah, they got accepted and that is it. So, that is the question of is boomerang. It is a very simple echo question. If you loved it, Please give a like to this video and subscribe to Core Ivo for more videos like this. See you in the next episode of the Lead Code series. Until then, bye bye.